What's up guys and welcome to episode 3 of the UK Meta Report. This week we're covering the week beginning the 9th of July. Once again a big thank you for those who provided the information this week and if you want to get involved in this then please contact me, the details will be in the description below. No changes to what is available this week, anything up to Crossworlds, that is set 3, uh, Absolute Attack Mirror and also Draftbox 2. And I have released a statement addressing the future release schedule for Europe. Uh, if you want more details on that then check out my news video which was uploaded for this one. This week we are covering 8 locals, um, that is fewer than before, um, a lot of locals this week were called off due to the World Cup. But we do have 4 new entries, namely the Dice Cup in Nottingham, Escape Games in Coventry, Fanboy 3 in Manchester and the Travelling Man in Leeds. As you can see there is an asterisk next to Fanboy 3 in Manchester. Uh, this is because it was a 24 man locals, uh, which is huge for the UK. Um, maybe if you're from the States, then not such a big deal. But for us, uh, 24 man locals is pretty much unheard of. And uh, anything outside of special events, you don't really get these sort of numbers. Now, because of the numbers at uh, Fanboy 3, what I've done is I've taken the top four decks and they will be added into the winners category for this week and also the whole meta report going forward. Uh, the, the rest of the top eight, they will be added onto the top leaders for this week. And uh, yeah, just so you can get a snapshot of what is being played all around the country. I do have the top eight lists for the Fanboy 3 event. So this week, instead of having one uh, deck spotlight, I will be running through all top 8 lists, so instead of 1, you're getting 8. So without further ado, let's see what tops this week. So as mentioned earlier, this includes the top 4 uh, decks from Manchester. And this week we have 3 Ginyu, made up of 2 Veggie and 1 Apes, 3 Pan, 2 Marseille, so very good week for the aggro decks. 1 Cell, 1 SS3 Veggie, and 1 Vegito. This is the Red Vegito from Set 2. Ginyu being uh, dominant as expected, but uh, 5 out of 11 went to Aggro Dex. Uh, so again, Aggro Dex having a good showing this week. Uh, only 1 SS3 winning, and it was a Veggie variant, so... Uh, Chain Attack Zeno doesn't seem to be doing as well, um, it's interesting to see that Apes are winning but uh, the Chain Attack Zeno must not be stopping those decks. And moving on to the rest of the top leaders from this week, this of course includes the top 8 from Manchester. We have 6 Ginyu, 3 Veggies and 3 Apes. We have 4 SS3, uh, so SS3 looking like it can top events but not quite win them. One red blue, one veggie, one boo, and one buhan. So all four of them are very different builds. This really shows the versatility of SS3 as a leader. And this may be part of the reason why Bandai have put it on their watch list to possibly get Narata in the future. Moving on, we have three Marseille and three Pan, both very strong for them. Two Android, one Cell, one Vegeta. One Zamasu making it in there, very well done, and the Vegito rounding it off. Good to see such a wide array of decks being played around the country, and not just being played, but doing well in tournaments as well. Um, as you can see, no Beerus this week, so um, good luck to the Beerus players out there, or uh, you know, both of you, you know who you are. Uh, hopefully I'll be doing a deck profile on that deck soon. And adding in those results, this is what the current meta looks like. Uh, you may have noticed that last week there were decimal places and this week there are not. Um, I'll just use decimals so that everything adds up to 100 exactly. And uh, this week the decimals were not required. Ginyu holding 28%, uh, that's a very commanding lead. 
a slight drop from last week, but um, you know, since not showing very much in the first week, uh, week two and week three have definitely shifted towards Ginyu and Veggies in particular with uh, Apes also seeing wins as well. Next up we have Marseille which seems to see consistent play every week and does reasonably well every week as well so um, slight increase to 16% and SS3 also in 16% dropping from last week. It seems that SS3 um, isn't able to win tournaments, They still it still does very well. Um, still tops becoming second or third but uh, not seemingly able to close out the tournament. After the wins this week, Pan surging to 13%, almost tripling uh, the total percentage from last week. Uh, we have Cell at 9% dropping slightly, Android at 9% uh, dropping about 5% this week, but uh, if you add the Cell and Android decks together, that's 18, so that would be just under Ginyu. So Cell Chain still doing very well uh, here. We have the single Vegeta at 3%, Beerus at 3%, and the Vegeta from this week at 3% as well. And as you can see, um, pretty diverse meta, although the dominant decks are probably what you would expect. Um, but I, I do think that the aggro leaders seem to be doing slightly better than uh, what you would see in North America. So that concludes the report for this week. Uh, if you would like to get involved with this, again, please contact me. The details will be in the description below. And hopefully this week the uh, locals will have less disruption. There, there aren't any sporting events going on now. And hopefully people will show up for locals. And next week, hopefully we will have uh, just a wider array of locals results for you. So thank you for watching guys, please subscribe for more content, uh, leave a like on the video and I will see you guys next time.